Over the years, Capcom have been responsible for some of the greatest games that we've ever seen hit our consoles. And over the last few years, Capcom have been responsible for re-releasing quite a few decent remastered games. In this video, I want to rapidly run through 10 games that I do feel that Capcom should potentially consider re-releasing or remastering at some point in the near future for the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox series because I do feel all the games that I'm about to mention do have great potential to be relevant in the year 2020 and beyond. Number 10. Tatsunoko vs Capcom Ultimate All-Stars to me was an awesome crossover tag team fighting game on the Nintendo Wii and it is definitely another game that I do feel was overlooked or underrated to some extent. I feel it did have a great roster of characters and really great visual styles at the time of its release and whilst I'm probably not too sure about all of the licensing issue that might be surrounding this particular game with Capcom and the other company, I do feel that it would definitely be good to maybe see a game like this bounce back with a remastered version on the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox series. Number 9 The list that I've actually put together in this video pretty much consists of quite a few hidden gems and Project Justice without a doubt definitely falls into that category. This fighting game is amazing and always gets me gassed when I do think about how many great games and battles that I did have playing this game. For those who actually had the opportunity to play rival schools on the PlayStation 1 definitely knows how far this fighting game franchise is coming from and the Dreamcast version which is titled Project Justice to me was definitely a classic fighting game on that machine and it's one of those games that I would definitely love to see a remastered version get announced at some point. Number eight. Beautiful Joe 1 and 2 were definitely two games that I really enjoyed playing back in the early part of 2000 on the Nintendo GameCube. If you've never played this game before, I can say that it's really enjoyable, really great side-scrolling beat-em-up action that will definitely keep you playing for hours up on end. To me this is actually one of those games that it did really surprise me that Capcom never really took this series much further because I do feel that there is definitely a market who would really enjoy playing this game if it was to be released anytime soon. So yeah again, another one that I do feel is worthy of a remaster. Number 7 I hold my hands up and say that this is probably one of those games that I personally really never appreciated on the Super Nintendo when I did first play it. If I can remember correctly, I did use a converter to play the US version of this game and I did find it really hard for me personally to get into initially and this was obviously maybe the early part of the 90s. So I do guess as someone like myself who was never really big on RPGs, this is probably one of those games that I slightly overlook and never really took the time to actually figure out how good this game was. But looking back on it, it does appear to have a really great following and so many people that really did appreciate this game when it was on the Super Nintendo. So it's one of those games that I personally would like to maybe see remastered so someone like myself can actually truly appreciate this game for the classic that it really was. Number 6 For those who had the privilege of experiencing the PlayStation 1, Dino Crisis is definitely a blast from the past when you do look at action adventure survival horror games. This is what I consider a PS1 classic and even though I never owned a PlayStation 1, anyone who I spoke to back in the days would always talk about this game if they did have a PS1 and when I did actually get an opportunity to play this game back in the days, I was really blown away by how cool this game really was. This is definitely one of those games that I feel will certainly be well received if Capcom decided to give this a 2021 visual upgrade and maybe remaster this game yet again for the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox series. Number 5 to me, Chaos Legion is one of those PlayStation 2 hidden gems as not many people that I personally speak to bring this game up in conversations when we do speak about some of the really cool hack and slash games from back in the days. This game is almost 20 years old, but the memories that this game definitely does bring to me is insane and a game that I would personally love to see make somewhat of a comeback on the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox series. Number 4 
When you talk about classic beat-em-ups that doesn't always get the recognition they deserve, I always have to mention Captain Commando. This game was really fun and enjoyable on the Super Nintendo and for those who had the opportunity to play this game back in the days, I'm sure you appreciate just how good this game was. I suppose like most of the games that I am probably going to mention on this list, this is yet again one of those Capcom games that I can't really see Capcom obviously taking the time out to re-release on the PlayStation 5 with those standards of graphics. But at the same time, it would definitely be amazing like all of the other games on this list to maybe see a potential of it being re-released because like every game that I'm going to mention, these are definitely the games that I do feel deserve to be played even in 2000, 2021 and beyond on the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series. Number 3 it's almost been 7 years since we've had Lost Planet 3 and I feel that it would be awesome to receive a remaster or a remake of the whole entire series. This series definitely did have a mixed reaction across the board as some people hated the series and some people liked it. Personally, with the amount of variety that the game did display in terms of the gameplay and especially the multiplayer aspect of this game, I actually did really feel that this was a super fun game. I remember playing the first entry in the series on the Xbox 360 for hours up on ends and would definitely love to relive some of those memories on the next gen consoles. Number 2 to this day, I still can't believe since the release of Power Stone 2, we've never seen another Power Stone game release outside of the collection on PSP. To me, this game is an all-time classic, and if you do enjoy a really good arena brawler, then Power Stone is certainly among the best in that genre. I personally love both games, but the first entry personally holds a special place in my heart, as this was among the early Dreamcast games that I own, maybe probably the second game that I got after getting Sonic Adventure, so I would really love to relive this particular game on either the PS5 or the Xbox series and if Capcom was ever feeling a little bit on the generous side then maybe give us both 1 and 2 in a collection like what they did do for the PSP but what I do know is that Power Stone definitely does deserve some form of combat. After seeing the success and great reception of both remakes for Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3, I'm extremely wishful that Capcom do turn their attention to making a remake for Code Veronica. This game is hands down probably one of my favourite Resident Evil games pretty much alongside the likes of Resident Evil 4. I always do kind of go back and forward as to which one is my favourite but Code Veronica definitely still holds a very special place in my heart. Yet again, this is another one of those games that I do remember playing on the Sega Dreamcast and it was one of those games that definitely blew me away at the time. I have seen HD versions of the game floating around on the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4, but to me it's probably not really the same thing as it would be if we did get a full remastered version like we've seen with the likes of Resident Evil 2 and also Resident Evil 3. Both of those two games are really well done and I would definitely love to see the same treatment happen for a game like code veronica anyway peeps this is definitely just a very quick rundown of 10 games that i do feel that capcom should consider remastering i'm sure 80 percent of these games will probably never get looked at again and remastered but games such as resident evil code veronica i do feel there's definitely potential to see a game like this definitely make a re reappearance on the playstation 5 or the xbox series considering that capcom have obviously done the same thing with resident evil 2 and resident evil 3 anyway peeps do let me know in the comments below what you make of my list of 10 games that i definitely do feel deserve a remaster have you been a capcom fan from the 90s or are there any specific games that i may have missed off that you do feel that should be added i purposely didn't really add any of the street fighter games on this list simply because i do always feel that we do still get some form of re-release from time to time so i definitely just wanted to give some of the other hidden gem games a little bit more attention in this particular video as always if you did enjoy the video be sure to smash the like button do hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel before and until next video we definitely say peace out peeps make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for more cool urban gameplay videos